Kenyan President William Ruto is seeking an additional $1 billion in loans from China, despite Kenya's public debt having reached $70 billion. Amid a weakening of the Kenyan shilling and high global fuel prices, an analyst at the University of Nairobi fears the situation is not sustainable. Kenyan currency is depreciating. Our largest creditor today is China, and therefore we are paying uh, through the nose. And uh, most of our uh, earnings are actually going to pay uh, Chinese uh, loans, and that's not going to be sustainable. The Kenyan president is in Beijing this week for the Forum of the Belt and Road Initiative, China's ambitious global plan which has seen the development of several infrastructure projects in Kenya. China does not pay attention to good governance practices, uh, neither do they care about uh, good governance uh, practices like corruption when they are providing uh, infrastructure facilities and interventions in Africa. That's the most worrying uh, thing in the sense that uh, uh, many countries uh, have seen roads, that, uh, roads or uh, infrastructure or even uh, uh, energy um, uh, 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 port facilities that whose cost for, of construction leaves a lot to be desired. With many of Kenya's Chinese loans set to mature in the current fiscal year, Ruto has taken measures to reduce government spending, but critics say he has reneged on his promises by continuing to borrow heavily.